What is Web3? There's a lot of buzz surrounding Web3, but really, what is it? Honestly, it took me a while to wrap my head around it because people make it seem like it's so complicated. But at the heart of it, not really. Web3 is not a platform or a type of technology or something you're going to find in the metaverse. It's actually more like an era or a categorization. But before we dive deeper into this, know that all this categorization is still pretty vague because there isn't some official body out there saying, hey, this is Web3, the way people can say, hey, it's 2022. Long story short, Web3 wants to be a decentralized internet. In Web3, people wanted to take a step back from the Web2 structure where power rested in the hands of a few tech CEOs. At the foundation of Web3 is the development of blockchain. Now, blockchain is the technology behind cryptocurrencies and at its core, decentralized. So how does blockchain decentralize the internet? Usually when talking about blockchain, you hear it associated with Bitcoin and other kinds of cryptocurrencies. But, but, this is because, for example, Bitcoin isn't maintained by just one company, but by a vast network of computers all connected to the internet. Now that we know how Web3 can exist, the question is, why are venture capitalists throwing billions of dollars into Web3? A chunk of that money is going into the development of dApps or dApps. Still debated on how that's said, dApps. Dapps or decentralized apps are one of the reasons why you're seeing so much optimism around Web3. Here's my colleague Zuping Huang with more on dApps. Thanks, Nico. So dApps run on top of blockchains like Ethereum or Solana instead of servers run by big companies like Facebook. That means no one can actually shut them down. But what's more important is that dApp users can have the full ownership of their data, tokens, or virtual assets for real. Some of the most popular applications are in finance and gaming. For example, this app called PancakeSwap allows you to trade one coin for another without any middleman matching orders. And there's a hit game called Axie Infinity it's just like Pokemon, but you can sell your virtual pets for money. At the same time, Web3 also has its skeptics. Elon Musk said it seemed like a marketing buzzword back in December. Cryptographer and Signal app founder Moxie Marlin Spike also discussed the issue of servers in a post discussing Web3. Unless people start running their own servers, and very few people and even organizations do this, it's not really decentralized. Accountability could also be a big issue with Web3. Regulators are raising concerns with some issues regarding decentralized finance or DeFi apps that let people lend, borrow, and trade coins with each other. They do so without verifying users' identities and performing anti-money laundering background checks. Finally, there's environmental concerns about the huge amount of computing power some blockchains require. At the end of the day, we have to ask, is Web3 really worth the hype? Or is it just a bunch of tech talk celebrated by a niche market? Let us know what you guys think.